Hey everybody, Stephanie McPhail, Chair and Dream Coach here. I wanted to talk to you about a topic that's been coming up a lot lately. And it's related to fear and it's related to change. And what it is, is I think that what happens for a lot of people is they stay frozen. They're stuck where they are. And one of the reasons why they're stuck where they are is because they're so afraid of what's going to happen next. How am I going to know what to do? How am I going to know what the next step is? Um, I'm not sure if I can handle it, if I'm strong enough, if I'm able to accomplish whatever it is I'm trying to accomplish. And I think that one of the biggest things to keep in mind is it's always about taking the first initial step. That's the hardest. You know, once you've decided to end a bad relationship, it's now taking that initial step to speak to a lawyer about getting a divorce or getting an order of protection because it's an unhealthy relationship where you're fearful for your safety. It could be um, starting school, maybe signing up for classes. You know, it might not be the actual classes, it's just taking that first step and doing it, following through with that thought that you've had. What happens is a lot of times we get stuck in that, that dream world that, oh, you know, someday I'm going to do this, someday I'm going to lose weight, someday I'm going to go back to school, someday I'm going to go visit Europe, someday I'm going to be happy in my relationship, someday I am going to focus more on myself, and that someday keeps being really far away, and you don't take that first step, because it's not, there's no action step, there's no decision of a date. So I know that it can be hard. I know that it can be scary. And those are always the things that we come back to, right? You know, the things that are scary that we're uncomfortable doing, but we know we have to do. And we know we have to do them because our gut is telling us we need to do it. That, that feeling in our stomach that says, oh, I really know that I need to end this relationship, but it's so scary. I, I'm really scared about what the consequences are gonna be. I don't wanna deal with how he or she is going to behave. I don't want to deal with any of that. I don't want to change jobs because I'm I'm afraid of, you know, just telling my my the people I work with right now that I'm quitting, you know, telling my boss that I don't want to do this anymore. Um, I'm afraid of, you know, getting that into that business that I always wanted to start. You know, what whatever it is. But once you take that first step, then everything else starts to kind of fall into place. Once you've made that decision, you, you're telling the universe, God, whatever you want to call it, you're telling the universe that you're ready for change. I've had a lot of change recently. Um, my dog passed away unexpectedly. Um, I had, I'm getting, or I bought a new car. Um, I'm selling a car that I, I love and I really don't want to get rid of it. Um, you know, working on a new business and, and doing all these different things. And there's that little piece of me that, that is a little scared because it's things that are different. It's not, it's a little bit out of my comfort zone. But the reality is that I know for me that I have a pull and I have a need to push forward even when things are a little scary. And I realize that reminding myself as well as others that taking that initial first step is the hardest part. And once you get past that, you just keep moving forward and like I said it's just one thing turns into another like okay well now I did this now what do I do and it just cut I want to sign up for school all right I signed up now okay now the school's telling me I have to buy books I have to do this school starts here and I have to and then next thing you know you're full-fledged into this new endeavor that you were so worried about not doing or doing you know one of the other because we fight ourselves back and forth right that fear of success or the fear of failure you know so there's that argument in our heads and that dream of maybe that can never happen for me you know there's all those different things that are going on in our minds and then we we jump you know and and I've talked before about jumping out of an airplane really scary and you're like oh can I do it can I do it and then you get up in the airplane and the airplane is moving around and bouncing and you're looking around you're like holy crap like I'm gonna actually jump out of this thing I'm a perfectly good airplane I'm gonna just do it and then you get to the side and you look over the side and you're like holy crap I'm going to be flying out of this airplane and you look down and you have a little second of doubt and then you just go and BAM and then as you start going and you start just soaring and you get to soar all the way down and get to that destination of wherever it is you're going. One of the most exhilarating things that you can ever do. 
So I hope this helped a little bit. I know, you know, like I said, I, I know how hard it is. Um, and I would love to be out of assistance if you needed it. Um, but find that good group of people that can help you, remind you why you're doing that first step, write it down. Um, you know, whatever it is that you need to do to just jump and then go from there. It was great talking to you. If there's anything in particular that you would like to learn more about or would like to have a conversation about, please uh, IM me and let me know. I would love to get ideas from people, whatever you're interested in, we can discuss a little bit more. Um, and if you like this video, please make sure that you give us a thumbs up, feel free to share it. Um, and you know, always remember that you're way stronger than you realize.